Hello, um, my wilderness people out in the city. Today we have my best friend. Well, we don't, I don't know. What's your name? <laughs> okay. Benjamin. Julian and Benjamin. Okay. I'm Kai. My name's Roman. Caleb. Okay, um, what brings you here today? What brings me here, you mean? Yes. Um, the church. My mom brought me. I guess you don't want to be forced here. Uh, I came to have fun at camp and make some new friends. Benjamin. To have fun. And Julian. To relax and get away from home. My father dragged me here. That must have hurt. Um. <laughs> well, not actually dragged. My father took me here. He brought me. What do you expect from this camp? I expect a fun, relaxing time with friends. And what about you, Benjamin? I expect having a fun time. To be together with all my friends and what's it called? To do like fun stuff together. Have a good time. Okay. And be um, fun. Uh, I expect a good, safe place, you know. Um, just, you know, a retreat, a vacation from all the stuff that's going on right now. Okay, um, can you imagine to visit this camp 20 years from now? Uh, what will you have become? An artist. Okay. Do you expect to come back to this camp, though? Yes. Okay. I don't know. Okay, um, we'll come back to that question later. What about you? Um, I would be surprised, like... Like, since, um, I, I could imagine how it would, you know, change a lot. You know, how they would remove stuff, build new stuff. Um, mm -hmm. uh, uh, an adult, first of all. Um, yeah, I would visit this camp in 20 years, and I guess I'll become more matured and stuff like that. You know, obvious. Mm, I'll probably be older. Probably either in high school or college. You'd probably be in um in your thirties. <laughs> yeah. And what's it called? Mm, yeah. What do you and, imagine? Do you think you'll visit the camp again, though? Yeah, probably so. For now. Yes. Yes. And what will you have become? I I really want to become a stockbroker. Okay. Um. What do you think the church could do for you and your friends? It does have to be at the camp. It could be at the church. Anything, whatever. Not really anything I could think of. Not really, since I don't attend church that much, since uh, I'm with my mom a lot of the time. Okay. Um, so. Looks like the bee likes you. Okay. Um. The bee? The bee likes the syrup. That's that's what it's here for. Okay. Teach me some lessons, I guess. Okay. Um. Um. Nothing? Okay, um, what about you, Julian? I think the church could give me fun times and good vibes mm -hmm. for, as of right now. I think that the church should do this more often. Okay. This is a good camp. I think it should go on and continue. Okay, um, what do you want to contribute to the church? Any thoughts, any um, feedback, anything? Uh, Mm, maybe I can, what's it called, help with stuff? Mm, basically, I would wa want like an upgrade to like maybe clean the church and probably make it less creakier and put new floorboards or something like that. Okay, and you? Well, I would like the... I would like for the hole in the... Well, now patch hole, but... I feel like we would need some heaters. Yeah. Or more air conditioning. <laughs> Not really, since I don't go there much again. Okay. Um, what would you like to do with the church? Maybe like projects or whatever. So when I'm doing like my Eagle Scout project, I can like do stuff for the church. Um, more trips like this, you know. I ask these um two questions to everyone on my um thing, or basically kind of like podcast um. What made you the man you are today? My, well, basically people who grew up around me, like my friends and family. And what made you the man you are today? 
my family and friends who built the environment around me. Me. I don't know. Uh, life. Your mom? Yeah, my mom. My um. Mom. Me mom. Um, uh, probably my parents and the people around me, you know, the people I hang out with, and everybody that, you know. You can depend on? Exactly. Okay. It, um, besides my mom, uh, someone about to die. <laughs> okay. Besides my mom, Miss Tracy, and Mike and Miss Stephanie, and my friends. A great loving home. Okay. If you got a one wish, what would it be? The ability to shape shift. To be in the MLB, probably. Okay. If I had one wish, it would be for big problems in the world like global warming, air pollution, pollution as a whole. Just to be solved. Just to be solved. And you? I would want my cat back. Okay. Hmm. Now, now. I wish there were less greedy corporations in the world. Thousands of, and mil no, probably billions of dollars. And what would you do with that? Okay, ready? Buy a house, buy a car, then, what's it called, probably buy, like, like make my own, like, zoo company. or whatever. Yeah, something like that. Make my own, like, what's it called, company with saving end okay. endangered species of animals. And do you have any final thoughts on this um, episode? I want a potato. Okay, um, we'll get you a potato right now. Thank you, Forest Freaks, for coming in. It seems fun. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Um, okay. You can go. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> this is our Darman episode. Today, Forest Freaks. Today on our episode, we have Miss Tracy and um um Tristan. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot your name for a second. Um um. Okay. What brings you both here today? Should, should he answer first and then I answer? Because I don't sure. want to feel like I'm answering for him. Why are you here today? So I'll be at church. That's an answer. And you, Miss Tracy? Um, to uh, sort of, so that Tristan has uh, uh, memories like I did when I went to camp. They were really great memories and lots of uh, bonding and activities and just getting out of the city. So that's what brought me here today to, for, that, for him to have that kind of experience with other kids. Um, what do you expect from this camp, Tristan? Go. Okay, I'm gonna take that as an answer. What do you What do you think is going to happen? What are you thinking is uh, is, is gonna happen while we're here? <laughs> if you were to take a guess, what do you think? What are, What um? Okay, well, what have we done that you enjoyed, maybe? The food. You enjoyed eating the food? Okay, anything else? Did you expect to enjoy eating the food? You did? Okay. <laughs> did um, you follow up? <laughs> yeah, um, and what do you expect from the camp? Did I already? Oh, what do I expect? Yes. Um, I, uh, sort of the same answer for number one. I expected him to have a good time. I was a little bit, I guess, unsure because it was a different um, thing. Uh, yeah, different different experience than I had had when I was little. So kind of, um, I expected to have a lesson in letting go. I like everything to be overly planned, and so I was not in control of this. So for me, it was sort of a letting go. Like, okay, whatever we do is what we do, and it will be fun. <laughs> um, Tristan, can you imagine coming to this camp twenty years from now? So you would be twenty-seven. Could you imagine coming back when you're twenty-seven? Do you think you would want to do that? He flew away. He flew away. Okay, so what, uh, oh, what, um, did you, uh, 
Do you think you would want to come back in 27 years? What was the question total? Um, 20 years. 20 years. So you're seven. So that would be when you are 27 years old. You think you'd want to come back as an adult and see what it's like and see if the cabins are still here and if the path is still the same? Would you want to do that? Okay, um, what could you do? What could the church do for you and your friends? It doesn't have to be here at the camp. It could be at the church, whatever. Basically, what can we do for you? Like sort of what activities would you like to do at church with, all, with your church family and with the community? What kind of things would you enjoy doing? Playing with them. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I don't get off the table. Um, I'll just skip question six. Um, I asked everybody who I had interviewed these two questions. Um, what is what made you the man and what made you the woman you are today? What made you who you are today? Are there things, are there people in your lives or experiences that you've had that have... I like to be here. Alive. <laughs> okay. You like to be here. You like to be alive. I don't really know how to explain this. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what made you the woman you are today, Miss Tracy? Um, uh, of course, I'm sure like everybody else, it's all the experiences, all the people that you've known. Um, for me personally, the church family has been very important because that's where uh, my best and closest friends have really come from. And um, so definitely the church family. And it was very much like growing up in a family. People really, like when you went to camp, um, my parents knew that they could just send me with another, another person from the church and they knew that they would look after me as if I was their own kid. And so I kind of, that's something that's definitely kind of formed who I am and who I kind of the kind of environment that I would like Tristan to grow up, that kind of community. Um, and then like my family, older aunts and uncles that have, um, that have, I've had conversations with and shared, they've shared their life experience, I'd say, with mm -hmm. making who I am. And do you have any final thoughts today about this? Yeah. Nothing you think of? Maybe one thing that you really enjoyed? Okay, and maybe one thing that you think you would like to that you would like to do that maybe we haven't done yet or didn't do. Anything you think of? Anything you would like to do that we didn't do? Nothing. <laughs> he wants to run away from the bee. <laughs> I think a syrup spilled on this. I think this is the, yeah. the table. Yeah. So. Thank you for sweetness. coming today. <laughs> See you later, forest freaks. <laughs> Probably. Thank you. Is it cut? Yep. Thank you. Okay. I'm just calling the whole church forest freaks.